this time I mentioned an insanely awesome trick with a deck of cards and a pair of scissors. Let's do this. Okay, so there's going to be a card selected, so in this case we'll use this one right here, which is the Six of Spades. That works perfectly. And the idea is it gets lost in the deck, but it actually does get lost in the deck, so you have no breaks or anything like that. And it truly is in the center of the deck. So anyways, I give the deck a little bit of a shuffle, or the Spectator could actually give the deck a shuffle if they want, just to make sure it truly is in the center of the deck. Their chosen card, center of the deck. Then you're going to take a case, and you're going to put the cards inside the box. Then you're going to need a little bit of... Actually, you're going to need a pair of scissors. So right over here, I've got a pair of scissors. Oh, covered in snow, but whatever. So, you got your pair of scissors, and you're going to try something a little bit interesting. You're going to say, watch. With this deck of cards right here, you're going to... I suspect you're just cut a little bit above. Don't actually cut it, so then you're going to hand the scissors to the spectator and they're going to do exactly what you just did. And you're going to say, so what we're doing here is we're going to actually create something that really amazing is going to happen. So, and then when you open up the case, you're going to dump it out and you're going to show that look, 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 a whole, every single card has torn up pieces or cut up to pieces from the scissors except for one card right here which is your card the six of spades one of that was done I'm gonna show you right now okay so here's how that was done first of all you're gonna need a second deck of cards and you're gonna need some kind of box over here for like if you're doing a show or you can do it in your pocket but I prefer the box so over here you're gonna have some sort of box to my to my side and you're gonna take all these torn cards and your one duplicate card, you're going to have a duplicate card with the same card in here, and take all the other cut up cards, put them in the box. Okay, so just like that I should have all the torn up cards inside the box, just like that. Then you're going to take your duplicate, six of spades, and you're going to slide it in with the torn up cards. Okay, so now I got all the torn up cards and the six of spades inside this box, and that's going to go in the big box that you're going to have over here. So you're going to have a big stage box over here with all your props in it for whatever you're doing. So you're going to take this and you're going to put it inside your box or another method if you don't want to have a big box you can put it inside your pocket. But for now you're going to put it inside your box which is over here and take the scissors and put them inside the box as well. So this is uh, what's going to happen. You're going to mention actually this should be in the box as well and you're going to pull this outside of the box and you're going to pull out the cards and you're going to be on with the trick. So, you're going to start to make sure that you have the six of spades on the bottom or the top, and you're going to force the cards. So there's many ways to do this. I'm pretty sure you all know how to do that if you're watching, but here's just a really quick way. You're going to ask the spectator to tell you when to stop. They say stop. You're going to swing cut it over and show them the bottom cards. So, anyways, you're going to force the six of spades on the spectator. I'm pretty sure all of you know how to do that. If you don't, then there's a really quick way to do it, and or you could just find a better tutorial. But anyways, you're going to force a card on the spectator, then you shuffle the deck up because obviously you have your duplicate box inside your stage box or inside your pocket, depending on how you want to switch the deck. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to close the box up, and then you're going to switch the deck as you go over to grab your pair of scissors. So you're going to mention to the spectator before you touch the box, you're going to mention to the spectator that you're going to need a pair of scissors. And then you're going to go over to the box, and you're going to switch with this one. So as I go over to my box, I'm going to switch the deck. Just like that. So now I got the one with all the torn cards and the one card like that. But make sure the spectator doesn't notice. You're going to you're going to spend some time here now because you want to make the spectator forget about the box part. So you're going to act as if you're cutting up the cards, all that stuff. Give the pair to the scissors. They give the spectator the scissors and all that stuff, but you want to distract them from the fact that you switched the box, the, car the card box with the other box. So you want to distract them from you going over to the box. So you're going to do a little bit of stuff, talk a little bit, all that stuff, before you do the final moment. And that is how it's done. So anyways, I did mention you could also switch it with your pocket. So if you want, you can have the deck and the scissors in your pocket, and you're going to mention I have a pair of scissors inside my pocket, and then when you go to your pocket, you could also switch the deck here as you put both your hands into your pocket, 
and pull out the other deck, and that is how it's done. Now that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed. To like, comment, and subscribe. That's for now. I'll see you next time.